since I'm a cardiologist, my lab deals with trying to better understand heart disease and trying to um, develop novel treatments for the treatment of heart disease. The major problem that we are dealing with is that the adult heart has very limited regenerative capacity. So when we lose heart cells, for example, during a large heart attack, this is irreversible and the cells that die are replaced by a scar tissue. The most severe form of heart failure, the only solution is heart transplantation. And since we don't have enough hearts, we don't have a good solution for them. What we are trying to do in the lab is to try to replace the missing heart cells by transplantation of new heart cells. The problem is that until recently, we didn't have a source for heart cells. That's why in the last 15 years, we've been working with stem cells in an attempt to generate a new human heart cells that can be used to regenerate the heart. The Technion were um, pioneers in generating these human embryonic stem cells more than 15 years ago. These uh, cells were derived from the early embryo. They can be propagated indefinitely in the culture dish. And since their origin is the earliest cells in the body, they can become any cell type. And our lab was the first to describe the ability to convert these cells into beating heart cells. The second source is what we call induced pluripotent stem cells. This is a technology introduced by the Nobel Prize winner Shinya Yamanaka in 2006. Now, from each one of us, we can take cells, reprogram them back to a stage where the cells resemble the fertilized egg, and then make any cell type from these cells. So in essence, one can now create the patient's own liver cells, heart cells, uh, brain cells, and so on, that can be used as a replacement parts for any injury that we need to treat. Now that we have sources that we can make heart cells, what we are trying to do is to use these patient-specific heart cells to develop strategies to use them to repair the heart. In the last two years or so, in collaboration with Professor Gordon Keller at the McEwen Center for Regenerative Medicine in Toronto, we are trying to make not only heart cells from these stem cells, but specific heart cell subtypes. So using these cells, what we are trying to do in the next few years is to develop the strategies to transplant them into the heart and repair the damaged hearts. So eventually we can reach a clinical trial in which we will try um, to repair the damaged hearts of patients. Another interesting approach is not only to use cells to regenerate the heart, but to try to generate tissue or organs. In this regards, we are uh, using concepts from the field of tissue engineering. Tissue engineering tries to um, create tissues or organ substitutes by combining cells with polymers, either biological or synthetic, that will um, generate the uh, shape of the organ. So in the Technion, we, we are very fortunate to collaborate with a number of very, very innovative uh, engineers who can help us with the polymer part. So in collaboration with a number of groups in the engineering department of the Technion, we are uh, trying to generate a heart tissue, a heart muscle, and maybe in the future, perhaps the entire heart in which we will combine polymers that will give the shape of the heart. We are seeding cells, the heart cells that we are generating, the different heart cell types, in an attempt to generate cardiac specific tissues and even maybe cardiac specific chambers. Another important application of the stem cell technologies that we are using, and specifically the induced pluripotent stem cell technologies, is the ability to generate for the first time models of human heart tissue in the lab, in the culture dish, that will allow us to study different diseases and to test drugs, what we call disease in a dish models. There's no good way to study genetic disorders because one can, of course, not take out the heart of the patient and study it. But since we can now take cells from the patient, reprogram them to make induced pluripotent stem cells, and then in the lab, in the culture dish, make heart cells that are identical to the patients from which they were derived, one can now make a model of genetic disorders in the dish. So now we can study this disease and we can also test drugs. This is what we call personalized medicine. 